team effort, that one. Uh, and yeah, the first big tuna I've ever been involved with on a, on a boat. Um, I was glad I wasn't on the reel. Big tuna team seem to defend themselves a bit better. Until they get close to the boat, and then the seals come right in. They're, they're right, right beside us, you know, and they've got big teeth on them, they're, and they're pretty savage animals. We're yanking at one side of the tuna, and they're, they're having a go at the other side of it. So yeah, we're jumping on top of it, trying to sink it. Yeah, so, we, you know, we've got water smashing into the boat, and, and you know, all the bodies are all standing on one side, all, the, all of us are all working on one side of the boat. We've got currents and, and swell all smashing into the boat, so it's pretty epic. Um, You've got, you know, you've got that, you've got that heightened risk of the, of the of the fish going under the boat and getting caught up in the prop, and so you know we, we were it was a team effort to get the, you know, the driver was spot on. He was he was kept the boat manoeuvring. Mm. Um, there was good communication between, um, you know, the coordinator on the deck to the driver, and um, we we just um, yeah just 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 all got it together and getting that tail getting that tail rope on that fish, um, really with it in the face of a you know two or three big seal and their fangs on the job, you know, that was challenging in itself. And then it was like, yeah, one, two, three, but, you know, if you take a look at it, there would have been um, three, there would have been four guys at, you know, let's say an average weight of 90 kilos on one side of the boat, an 85, 84, four, four, four kilo fish. With um, a couple of 200 kilo seals jumping on top of it. Well, you know, you immediately turn your attention to Jack, the man on the on, on the, the winch, because uh, he, he um, he was. He, he had was less buggered, energy man. than the seal. He was buggered. It. Oh, big team effort, mate! Great boat driving, great gaffing. Well done, Jack, on the rod. This fish, uh, this fish tested the whole team. So uh, I think we can all be pretty proud of this one. Every one of us. My name's David. And the name of the boat is Liability, and it's because of ability to lie, and it is a liability. I sent him at the Melbourne Boat Show and I was extremely impressed with the finish and I've been looking for a fair while for something and I finally found the, the boat that appealed to me that had everything in it, plus it's, it's a big boat and it's still trailable. I'm Rex Bryant, I'm, I'm from uh, Gisborne, New Zealand, east coast of North Island. I've been, um, been passionately pursuing uh, the White Pointer brand that I um, invented and created some 25 years ago. Cameron McDonald, I'm the uh, dealer principal at Geelong Boating Centre and uh, the representative um, outlet for White Pointer Boats in, in Victoria, South Australia and Tasmania um, in Australia. So he's from Tasmania, I'll be over in the morning. So I said, okay, okay, I'll, um, I'll make a call and um, yeah, he sure enough, he was on my doorstep the next morning and um, and we went out and I, I didn't get, I launched it in Geelong there, just in the bay. It was a little bit rough. It was rough enough to, to test a boat, that's for sure, a little short, sharp chop. And the boat just went straight slice through it like it was nothing. And um, I only got not even halfway across our bay. Dave said, no, nah, all good, take me back, I'm done. And I'm thinking, God, he doesn't like it. And I said, what do you think? He goes, nah, best boat I've ever been in. And uh, he goes, I've seen enough, no, that's done. Uh, bloody amazing. It uh, performs as good as anything I've ever been in. Um, that's the main reason I brought it, just because of the ride. We went over and had a tour of the factory and met the team and they showed us how they built them from start to finish and we also had the chance to customise it a bit while we were there, so it was good. Flew over and saw the guys and stayed in Gisborne for a couple of days in Auckland for a couple of days and test drove a few different boats and went over there with the idea he was going to be buying, I think, a 750 at the time and, and sure enough he uh, Bought, bought this eight metre um, with the twin new 200 Yamahas and quite a few extras actually. The boat jumped up a little bit, which does happen when you go and see these beautiful boats and visit the factory and see what these guys can do. And um, it's uh, just, these guys just spec it to their absolute requirements and um, give them ideas and suggestions and, uh, and yeah, look at it, amazing. Uh, Rex is pretty professional. They had, they're all custom built, so they had just about everything and whatever they suggested we put in. David's uh, weapon of choice was an eight metre, um, what we call a sports cruiser. And the sports cruiser specifically is about the cabin styling. So it's got the nice um, uh, curved glass, uh, frameless glass. So it's glued on like, your, like your, your car windscreens and bus windscreens. It's super strong and 
no fixing screws that leak and things like that. So that's detail that we've, we've developed. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's a it's a lock-up cabin boat. It's got a roof, got an extended roof option, um, and a fairly standard sort of seating system. Once we lock a cabin up like this, with a good little console for for you know boiling the boiling the jug or having a having a having a decent cook-up fridge. And, Really neat built-in freezer, all electric powered, really efficient. Good, good, comfortable, um, you know, sleeping quarters, the toilet, fresh water, hot and cold fresh water, instant Califont gas powered uh, fresh water. So, you know, you can have a wash after a, after a swim or a dive, and you can wash your gear down too, and wash your hands down, and just keep a potentially grubby, um, bloody, and gutsy sort of a day. And check, and you know everything. Everything's been used on this boat today, and um, it, that's the way it is every day. Every time he uses it. That was one thing David said out there today. He said, "Cam, this has been bloody unreal." He said, "I'm just, I'm so glad that Rex came over. I've learned about little things about how to improve, how to handle a boat, how to do this and that. A couple of little things I didn't even know were on the boat." But you know, um, I really enjoy coming on a boat that's been, you know, one or two or three, four, five hundred hours late. And seeing how durable they still are and how well they're presented, um, you know, up in the cabin area, it's cosy, but it's not over the top. Out the back, it's a functional area that you can knock around. Um, there isn't there isn't fixtures and fittings that are going to break off or wear away or let you down, and it stays a rugged workplace from this division back, and stays cosy from this division forward. And I, I like that balance. It's mm. um, it all works well.